Hello everyone, SP Architects here today I want to show you 5 tips for ArchiCAD. But before beginning this tutorial I want to show you my previous video about this. Which is 10 tips I wish I knew before in ArchiCAD tutorial. If you haven't watched this yet, I suggest you to watch this video first. I'm gonna add a link in the description and also a card here. This was a very useful tutorial with this 10 tips tutorial and also these 5 tips which I'm recording now will be key videos for your ArchiCAD turning path. Alright, let's put this information aside and begin our new tutorial. Alright, here we are in ArchiCAD and we have an example project. We are going to use this project for dimensions. First one is going to be about dimensions. Let's say that you place your dimensions around your building. We have this side. We have west elevation, south elevation, but we only need this side which is east elevation. The values are the same as west elevation. There are nothing different. Windows are same and doors are same. So we need to copy this part to east part of the building. So we need to take a symmetry of this dimension. Okay, let's select them. Hold the shift, click this first, second. And third, we have a wall right middle in the building, so we can use this wall as reference. Let's just right click window, go to move, and let's select this mirror a copy. And we will click the center part and other direction. By doing this, you have saved so much time for dimensions, but sometimes this doesn't work. Let's say that this floor plan is the same with uh, the second plan. Let's click the second plan. And I presume all of the windows are same. So I'm going to delete those, those dimensions. What are we going to do? Let's go back to the first plan. Select the dimensions. And I'm going to right click. Click copy, you can hit Ctrl plus C. Go to second, hit Ctrl plus V, and nothing happened. Unfortunately, it isn't working. Again, Ctrl plus V. Yeah, we have something here, but it's empty. Why can't we use this copy and paste? Or question must be how we can use this. First of all, we are going to select all of the dimensions as before. And this time we have an option here, which is static dimensions. We are going to create these static dimensions. By doing this, we have separated our dimensions from their reference walls. By doing this, we can copy them. Let's hit Ctrl plus C again. And paste here. There we go. We have copied all of the dimensions. Okay, let's move on to our second tip. Let's say that you want to change all of the surface with gray. And let's say that you will assign a brick material. I don't know, it's up to you. If you select your walls and all of the elements you want to change, something like this, if you go to surface from here, and open up the materials and click your new material we have changed something but we haven't changed all of the surface type we have only changed the walls we couldn't change the slab surface of course you can click slab 2 and go to its surface settings and change it from here but this is only one floor and one building if you have lots of building and loss of story, it will take lots of time from you. So what are we going to do? The method is this. First, let's go back. And we are going to learn which material is this. This is the siding material. We are going to find the siding material from our surface options. Our target is changing this cladding to stone material. For instance, this one. 
you can also change your cladding surface to you can just change its name and texture from here but by doing this you will destroy this material maybe you will need to use this another time in project process so in order to solve this problem first we are going to duplicate this material let's click new and it's going to be duplicate and from the name we can leave the name as is let's click ok now we are going to go back to the original material and we are going to click delete and we will see this very useful window it says we can delete and we can also delete and replace it we are going to click that open up the menu and select our stone and click replace now you will see all of the surface will be changed there we go of course those are another material we haven't changed them but we have changed this material now we can go back to the surface go to this copy rename and remove this copy click ok now we have saved our previous material too our next tip is going to be about profile sections let's say that we are going to use a profile which we have used before in another project for instance we are going to create garden wall let's click the wall tool go to structure select profile let's click this custom and we will see profiles which we have used for this project but there is no button to load inside from other projects okay let's pass this let's go to options complex profiles profile manager unfortunately we don't have any loading options too actually the method is very simple let's close this one and let's go to our main project which we have used the profile all right here i've opened up another project i'm very crazy i load these profiles and i want to use them for other project the only thing which we are going to do is we are going to select this profile in floor plan so let's right click the profile and we click select on floor plan after that we hit ctrl plus c and we go back to previous project not in 3d we go to floor plan to hit ctrl plus v click paste there we go now this profile is in our project now we can use this profile let's go to beam or wall it doesn't matter it's up to the profile option click structure it's going to be profile and here we can see our new profile name if you click it you can create the same profile just like that this is how you can create profiles from project to another project here we are in the next tip for this tip we are going to change our layers i'm sure something like this has happened to you too i can't remember the scenario but for this scenario i'm going to change all of the building's layers generally we just select all of the building i want to uncheck these dimensions and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this A. And from changing layers, I'm going to select A. Do you think it will happen? I don't think so. Let's audit. I'm going to click this wall. It's structural bearing. But this object's layer has been changed. What about this slab? It's still 2D drafting general. Here is the result. If I select items which are diverse and if I change their layers, only this visible layer will be changed. Let's hit Ctrl Z. We can see this interior furniture. So if I change this layer, only interior furniture layer will be changed. So here is the solution. To change all of the object layers at the same time, we are going to hit Ctrl, Shift and T from keyboard 
Now we will see this edit selection set. By this window, if we change layer type from this opening menu, all of the visible items here will be changed to this layer. Let's click OK. Let's control. This is A. This is A. And this dimension is A2. It happened. So this is how you can change diverse items layers in ArchKit. By the way, I can show you the last tip via this project. This one is going to be about selections. For instance, I'm gonna select these trees. But I've changed my mind. I want to make a rectangular selection and I want to add this sunshade and this car into my selection set. So we have two ways. You can uncheck this quick selection and make a rectangular selection. Or you can just hit shift and space from keyboard and you make a rectangular selection. But something is going wrong here because my previous selection is lost. But again, I decided to make a rectangular selection too. Yeah, unfortunately, I've lost my car and some base selection too. This is very annoying. For this reason, I'm going to rescue you from this problem. From the keyboard, we are going to hit shift, tap and space. And after doing that, if we make a selection, rectangular selection, as you can see, it adds. I'm gonna add this part too. Or I can make a very big rectangular selection and I haven't lost my previous selection which is very good. I think this will save your time. Alright guys, those are 5 more tips for ArchiCAD. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope you can apply these tips for your project. Alright, that's all it for this video. See you in the next one.